Just past 3.30 here, getting home on a very slick bunch of highways today. Y'all be very careful. We'll check traffic for you here in just a minute get y'all caught up out there. Well, Lord have mercy. We got a church that you can go to, and you ain't got to have the finest clothes in town to attend. Actually, do you have to have any clothes This is all? the White Tail Chapel I just heard about today. <laughs> a congregation that does everything, including, including uh, worship the Lord and the buff. Completely naked with no clothes. And uh, why? Why? I mean, Well, why? they asked the preacher that. They said, preacher. <laughs> why? Pastor, how you do this? He said, it's all about bearing my soul to Christ and leading his flock down that path of righteousness, no matter what they're wearing. There's no feeling that you have to be better than one another physically. We're all humans. We all have scars. We all have what we have. It's learning to love and accept that. Amen. And I'm looking at a picture of the pastor, and he preaches like in the nude too. Yes, he does. He 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 not, he might need to put some clothes on. Well, shouldn't, <laughs> I think he does. Shouldn't anyway. anything, well, maybe they need blindfolds in his church. I mean, I, but cool. shouldn't anything surprise us anymore? It's a it's a nudist camp, is what it is. That's all it amounts to. Seriously, the yeah. church is like a little bitty. It's a tiny little church. Yeah, too. but he's tax free. <laughs> he is. Hmm. Uh, usually, you don't see fitness poster kids at nudist camps. <laughs> no, because I've seen them before. Somebody find me a verse in the Bible <laughs> that preaches against naked preaching. I don't know that there is one, but I'm just saying, I don't need to go to church and see a bunch of naked people. I'm there to worship God. I Not to be seeing stuff understand. flopping I'm around saying. and hanging and everything. That's I, but think about it. If all of us you were know? naked when we went to church, maybe we'd all be a little more humble. Or maybe we'd all be looking at each other going, I'm cold. I need to put some clothes on. I just hope they sit on towels on the pew. I hope they give those things a good bleach after church. Turn the heater up, preacher. <laughs> Scrub those pews, baby. Why? I just want to know why. People who go are devoted. They go all the time. They <laughs> say, stripping down makes everybody equal. That's what it is. I feel the breeze blowing. I shall go naked to meet the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cold in here. I mean, really? Got some fog in the area. Might see some more of that as the afternoon progresses here. Be careful, especially around mile marker 30. That's the rest area over there on the other side of Milton, okay? East of Milton. <gasps> also, got that thing uh, taken care of, I believe, off of uh, Avalon and Sign of it. And another one just popped up here at Beverly Parkway and Pipeline Road. Be careful there on your way home. What were you gasping for over there? I'm seeing a picture. They even do naked weddings at this church. She said, I do. Everybody's naked. Yeah. <laughs> What in the world? That, hang on to yourself there. Uh, <laughs> that wreck on Beverly Parkway is uh, pretty near Fast Eddie's, okay? Okay, so the guy's got him a naked church and he preaches naked. <laughs> and he likes the freedom and he says everybody comes into this world with no clothes, so what's wrong with it? There's a lot of talk in the Bible about nakedness, though. Yeah. And the one that first comes to mind would be, of course, you know, Adam and Eve, and they lay all night naked without clothing, had no cover in the cold. Uh, and they were not ashamed. And then they went down there, and when that woman talked to him and eating that piece of fruit, it was all downhill from there. Why do we as the women always get blamed? How come y'all always blame us? Well, that's the way it was. That's the way it says. <laughs> y'all always blame it us. It says, I, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid, hid myself. I just, and the Lord says, who told you you was naked? Did I tell you you was naked? <laughs> Nobody told How you you naked. How did you know you were naked? Have you eaten of that tree I told you not to eat? <laughs> yes, sir, I did. There's now your you problem. Now you know you're naked, see? Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's where it started. There is a lot. I actually looked up some, too, and I'm going, oh, wow. There was quite a few. Like, here, um, for you have exacted pledges of your brothers for nothing and stripped the naked of their clothing. Well, Noah, all you know him about is the ark. But there was a time, and it's in Genesis. Look it up. He uh, he liked to work in the dirt. He planted himself a vineyard. He drank that wine, got drunk, laid down his tent, <laughs> buck naked. does say that. And Ham came in there and saw he was naked, went out there and told his two brothers and Shem and Japheth. They got something, laid it on their daddy and walked out there and, you know, left him alone. Man. They, how, see, they didn't like that. How, how come these are things in the Bible that I never learned about when I was in Sunday school? We because, didn't talk about this stuff when I was in Sunday school. Well, it never came up before, but today it did from the White Tail Chapel up there in uh, Virginia. Virginia, yes, where they really do need to turn the heater up. A they, bit. they need to get some Clorox and be bleaching them pews after service. Anyway, I'm we'll leave that you. alone. I just didn't know if y'all knew about that, and that's breaking news today. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, doesn't it get really cold up in Virginia? Hey, we uncover all of it here. I mean, really? Got a wreck on Beverly Parkway. Pretty near W Street, I think. Be careful there. I don't think it's blocking traffic.